Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube and today I'm going to show you how to draw a high mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicle also known as a Humvee to you and me. <laughs> but let's not talk about it. Let's do it. Okay, let's draw a Humvee. <laughs> These are not easy. Okay, what I want you to do is to draw a box. I'll probably have to shift this around a bit. Hang on a minute. I'm going to draw a box and it's quite a, a wide flat box. I mean, maybe wanted to get a bit narrower at the back. Um, so it's going to be a box kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to move this so it fits better. There we are. Um, here we want to break this into thirds, roughly thirds like that. And a line roughly down the middle. I think maybe this is just a little too wide. So, but it's quite a wide, flat box is what we're after. Okay. Now, this will be roughly where the front goes, the bonnet. Okay. Um, and it's roughly curving like that. Slight curve. So, um, this third here is round about where the um windscreen goes do you call it a windscreen windshield okay i call it a windscreen <laughs> i come from britain we say things differently um so like this at the front here i call this the bonnet of the car but it's you may well call it a hood <laughs> okay but uh and then at the back i would call it the boot but you will probably call it the trunk <laughs> You say tomato, I say tomato. <laughs> um, and this is kind of a, the front part of the, the hood, bonnet. Okay, bring the line down there, and then you've got these little bits holding the thing. Two squares on either side with circles in it, and those make the headlights. This is going to want to slightly curve around, and it, it, it kind of, there's a, there's a weird bit there, okay. Um, this will sweep up there and then sweep down to there and you've got a little bit holding it's kind of a thing that holds the, the hood on the bonnet it's going to be exciting isn't it um, there's a line coming down there and there so that's how the, the, the bonnet kind of holds up so that's where the that should roughly be about where the centre of the windshield screen is and you want your front windows in there with Windshield wipers, windscreen wiper. I call them windscreen wipers. <laughs> I call them tomatoes. <laughs> this is a uh, travelling tomato. No, it's not a travelling tomato. Okay. Well. Now, with these lines, these thirds that we drew here, these are kind of useful. So, what happens is on that third is the middle of the back door window. So the other back door window, the front door window rather, is gonna be about there. And the it's gonna come, come down here and back. So this will give you, that will give you a kind of a feel for where the doors are. So that'll be one door. Um, and those are the hinges like that. This door will be just slightly wider there, but it goes backwards on itself, like that, okay? And also, these lines here are just going in slightly, um, like that, so, the, so these windows kind of stand out a little bit, in a strange kind of way. There's also kind of a box shape underneath the window with a cross in it, draw that. Now, just behind the back door, that's where the roof ends, and we'll kind of come across like that. So from there, you can then draw down to, you want the, 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 the rear of the, the trunk <laughs> to come down a bit like that. And you might just see a little bit, because of the angle that we're at, 
And you're also going to want a bit coming down there, which is this kind of tow bar business at the front. Right, next thing we want to put the wheels in there. So the wheels are going to be about like that. There we go, tyres. And again, they want to be kind of following this line of um, perspective. And that's that's that line there. So this actually wants to come in a bit there and then down like that. And we want another wheel in there. And that's kind of kind of it. Something doesn't quite feel right there. I think this maybe the wheel wants to come forward a bit. that's just a little bit of an angle there. And there there we go good um, I'm going to draw the grill on the front first that's just kind of by putting that kind of curve in it gives a kind of a feeling of where it's all kind of going and then you've got mm, <laughs> side lights and indicators and things like that there um and line across the front there and then we had these kind of square bits with circles and a bit of a squiggle inside for the headlight um, and then these um bits for i don't know what they are I've never actually seen a Humvee, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, now let's get this. We want to get this kind of roof. I'm not going to draw any kind of thing on top of the roof because you get so many different models. Um, you know, some have little portholes where you can poke your head out and um, have a gun turret kind of thing. And others are oh, they're kind of like an old jeep, so you get sort of soft top kind of things as well. Um, others have got rocket launchers on the top, and all sorts of different combinations. But this is just a very basic kind of Humvee, basic military model. And then we're going to get the at the window here it does kind of stick out and the it sticks out in a square kind of way whereas the um they're very square kind of windows all together so I think we then kind of come down there like that draw all the way along there and then draw that coming all the way up to the back there and then the kind of a hint of that, this kind of angle of it. So the, this is a kind of a, you want a very light line coming down the middle there. Um, and then these are kind of, these are kind of pressed into the door and they kind of, I think it kind of helps to make the door more rigid. And like that, a little square there, I think those are the handles to open the door, those are the hinges and then you might want um, something like that just to kind of give a, a hint of the edge there uh, and then we want the tyres, right, go all the way around kind of like the, uh, if you have trouble drawing tyres like I do, <laughs> like I'm having here um, go and see my other video, I'll go and put a little link up there showing you how to draw car tyres okay, they are really, 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 really difficult things to draw they, um, I don't know. I don't know why they're so difficult. It's because they're just all sorts of weird different angles and ellipses. and um, So look, go all the way around the outside and then kind of curve up there and curve up around there. Then you want the another oval for the, you know, the, the, the bit in the middle. And then another oval which is kind of pushed over a little bit. And then they... Got lots and lots and lots of nuts and bolts that hold 
these things on. They're a really weird system um, that they have. Um, and I think I'm just going to hair dry that. How long have we been going here? Nine minutes. This is a long journey. It's a difficult thing to draw. It's a kind of a very unusual shape. And it's, you know, if you've drawn lots of cars and things like that before, it doesn't quite do what you expect it to do. So, um, so I'm going to draw these treads on the uh, tyres. And um, why did I um, get my hair dryer out? Well, if you've not seen me draw before, um, I just want to be absolutely sure that my ink is dry before I erase all those pencil lines. Because otherwise I get a great smudge if it's not um, dry. And this wants to be quite dark underneath there. You're probably there we are. It wants to be quite dark like that because it's be shaded underneath them. Uh, you're going to get something dark down there. Now the windows, you're going to want to have them quite dark too. Like that. And start over here. Like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put some kind of shading in on just this side of the of the body of the vehicle like that. Um, maybe a bit more around there. Then I want that to be more shaded. The tire, don't I? That wants to be darker. And then we need to kind of put it on the road, as it were. Some, something going on in the background like that and then you're going to want to have shadow on the ground <laughs> using my fingernails as a kind of a guide to work up to and again I suppose that's just years and years of practice kind of knowing how to just Knowing where to kind of knock the edge of my pen up to, to um, do that kind of shading like that. A um, bit more around like that, and maybe something in the background there, like that. There we go. I'm going to oh, ah, move that into the middle, like that. And I'm going to say, there you go. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, keep coming back to the Shoe Raider Drawing Channel on YouTube. And uh, in the meantime, I want you to keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.